Hi everyone, welcome back to my Beach Angel Tarot Shop and welcome to those that are new and any passers-by, welcome. And I am here to do my May 2018 What is Your Love Story for May? And we're going to take a dive right in. So we're going to get into it. I am going to um, be using my story cards and it is the deck that inspired me to create this spread and it was created by Kathy Nichols. I will put a link to the, her deck below for those deck enthusiasts. It is a beautiful deck and I do believe she's creating an, another one so I will be sure to get that one as well. I'm going to do an opening message, whispers of healing message for the month of May and then we're going to get into the reading. I My shop is closed right now and will not reopen till June but I am answering correspondence as I move forward. So, and I will also be posting uh, videos as usual, hopefully um, as I go forward as well through that time period. And we have kindness. This card comes up a lot for me. I pulled a lot in readings for people. Um, and we have the tree energy coming up here and the tree energies for me are very, of course, very real and um, very supportive. So tapping into that natural, the elemental world um, and the energies of the trees to bring in support for the month of May. And where I am here, it is, you know, right now in the day it's snowing, but in May I'm hoping that, you know, nature comes alive. And I feel that sense here of nature coming alive. And it's connecting to, there's an old energy in the tree, and there is a, it's reaching out to and handing the young energy, um, a dandelion or a flower. So I'm going to read from the, um, Booklet. Cultivate consideration and understanding of other people. This may entail a conscious effort to create, actively care about another person, especially someone who challenges you emotionally or has a strong personality. Make a concerted effort to perk up someone else's day by doing something considerate, good, and loving. Acts of kindness show others that they matter and that kindness is a choice, even in the face of resentment and self-centeredness. Say something nice to a colleague or family member and show appreciation to the people around you. Um, the small boy receives a daisy from the wise old tree. Daisies are associated with simplicity, tolerance, and cleanliness. The gift of the daisy can signify devotion. The squirrels, birds, and rabbits are gregarious and relate to being sociable. If you have been keeping to yourself or staying at home, this is a push to get out and visit someone who might need company. Taking a little time to call on someone on the phone and be a caring listener is an act of kindness. Trees are grounded in the earth and reach up into the heavens. They help you have a bigger version of higher vision of the difference you can make in someone's life. Um, they can help you have a higher vision of the difference you can make in someone's life. The robin on the one tree's branch brings a fresh perspective. Are you drawn to the child or the wise old tree? A specific relative may be representative, represented here. An older or younger relation may be very much benefit from spending time with them. Consider how you can spread a little kindness today. So it's definitely talking about connecting in a sense of kindness. Um, I'm getting, because of the old and the young energy. No, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, there's something there with the, uh, bridging the gaps of time through kindness. There's something there with the difference in age and time. So maybe for some, you know, age differences coming up, gapping in age difference in relationship. For others, it may just be the energies. Um, and I'm not going to get, because this is a general, I'm not going to go too far into that feeling, but we're going to see what comes. Who you are in your love story, where your partner is standing in the love story in May, what or who is blocking you, the previous chapter, where you are in the love story, the next chapter, and the end of the story for May. So we're going to see what comes up for everyone in this reading. Undercurrent is Sunshine Girl. So the sunshine girl is a sense of positivity, connecting to the sun, um, which is beautiful in the undercurrent. It says her inner light melts away obstacles and brings light to those around her. So 
So that is going on in the undercurrent from your inner light. So I'm going to go on to the first card. Who you are in your love story or what energy surrounds you in this time. And it's mystic. And he's sitting in a treehouse. Or they are sitting in a treehouse. So your energy is a mystical energy. Um, very calm and meditative. It can be the sense of like the four of swords. Very, um, again, like retreating... Um, but bringing in grounding and centering in regards to that. So a lot of healing and grounding in. Um, so I'm going to read from the booklet. Okay. It says, alone in his tree house, he meditates and seeks inner wisdom. His solitude lifts him above the concerns of everyday life. So a little bit retreated, again, like I said. Um, but connecting to um, your higher self. And just taking time for yourself. It's like, again, like a retreat type of energy of the Four of Swords is what they're saying. It's like a time out in the tree house. And it's interesting because the tree was there giving him something. So the tree house, too. You know, tree houses are fun. Children climb the trees, right, and go into the tree house. So there's a sense of fun here as well. Even though this is a centered, peaceful, meditative type of energy and time out type of energy, I feel like a connecting to the inner child too, a reawakening of the youthful energies um, for you in the month of May. So you may find yourself reflecting on something or connecting to something from your past that you enjoyed. Or really allowing that inner child to heal um, and come out um, to play a little bit. So that may be happening for you in the month of May. Where your partner stands in this love story in the month of May. And it is gratitude. Interesting. The houses are all, like, there's little tiny houses there. So the house energy is coming up again here. Um, 19, 20, 21 it says. So a... A repetition, a, a progression is the word of gratitude is coming up for them in the month of May. So they may be feeling very grateful for your connections. Gratitude, count your blessings. You have great luck. So they may have been lucky at something um, as well, maybe to, in regard to home and progressing in regards to that energy. So maybe they were dealing with something with their home. Um, too, but there's a sense of progression, progress, and being grateful uh, for some luck. And I also feel this has got to do with your connection, too. So they feel very lucky to be connected to you, to know you. Um, and I also feel outside of that, they are dealing with something that they've been very lucky and, for and feeling very fortunate about. What or who is blocking you from the next, from moving to the next chapter in your love story? And interestingly, we have the house in reverse, rooted. So, um, well, it's not like so it's in reverse, but I pulled it in reverse and I took notice of it. This card to me is kind of like, I always see it like a tooth, you know, and pulling the tooth, that root, that one last root, a root that doesn't want to let loose, that's hard to kind of pull out. It's, you know, could be painful. It could just be lingering kind of energy. So I feel like what's blocking you is lingering energy around maybe uprooting yourself from a situation, from an energy uh, feeling ungrounded perhaps or n needing to kind of unground or untether yourself from a place, person, situation, job, friendship. I don't know. Um, but this is blocking you because your attention is focused on that area. So maybe you're moving, you know, this is for an instance. And all your attention is going into that and you're about there, but you still have some lingering things going on there, um, either physically or energetically connected to that. And that's Taking your attention, which is creating a block. The end, the previous chapter in your love story, what led up to now, and it is rising. And I think this one actually came up in my last month's reading for, I think it came right in the middle of the month, which is where we are right now. So this is kind of interesting to see it in this placement because it tells us we're con on a definite continuum here with our story because it came up in the placement of the new moon for the April love story and it talked about, um, of course, being in between energies. So, you know, um, 
uncertain which way to go and then something comes along and just kind of forces change or forces a movement but whatever that is was for the better um, it's rising in your energy it's giving you a, an, a plate that you can see now where you've been kind of maybe stuck and now you can kind of see where you're going from this down here you couldn't see because you're here and there and if you turn around you're looking at that building if you're looking forward you're still looking at buildings you're still looking at obstacles well here comes spirit and you know a change occurs but this change allows you now to rise in vibration and it allows you to see so whatever is going on perhaps it's got to do with this uprooting of house situation which is rather funny um, is allowing you now to see that something has occurred and it has allowed you now to see, see where you're headed, see where you're going, and it's rising your vibration. Whether it feels that way or not, that is a, that is what is occurring. That's what's happening. Or that's what the previous chapter, which is where, I mean, I'm doing this, like, still in the new moon energies. We are on the 17th of April, I believe. So, I mean, we are there now, but when you r watch this in May, this is where you will have been in the previous chapter at this time frame being pulled up out of that and you know rising above so you can see where you are in your love story present in may and it's meditation sort of like where we were in the beginning here um i see the red white and blue so it's a sense of liberation again calm again a sense of that four of this is where you are so who you are and where you are are connected um so it's got they got to do with each other so where you are energetically and who you are energetically are coming into into to be to there is a merge here um in the month of may of, of those two energies which is rather interesting um who you are in your love story and where you are in your love story um okay i'm gonna let that go but you're really you're really coming into more something in the spiritual practice. You're really realizing something um, that maybe spirit's trying to communicate to you. You see the bluebird and it's kind of lifted the hat or it's over her head here. Um, again, I feel a sense of spiritual rise in vibration and calm. Meditation leads to greater enlightenment. The bluebird of happiness helps open the mind. So you can kind of see that here. So there is a mind opening, a clearing, a happiness that you're coming in. And it's it's a contentment. It's like you may find that in the month of May, you find yourself more content than maybe you thought you were. You're um, opening to more joy and happiness. And why not? Because in April, you've gone through this release. This, like, it sort of feels like a rescue energy where you've been, you know, pulled out of uh, an energy where you haven't been able to move forward or backward. So the next one is six. The next chapter in your love story, if you can get past the block in three, which was the ending of an uprooting of a place, person, situation, energy, home, job, friendship. This could run the gamut for everybody. Um, the lingering effects of that. When you get through that, where are you going on the next chapter? And it is growth. And it's beautiful. This is beautiful. This is barren. Look, there's nothing growing around this house. <laughs> you know? Not that that's bad, but there's no nothing growing in here. We have beautiful flowers growing, and it's lush, and it's and it's colorful. It's not just two colors, right? It's it's very um, lush. So there is going to be growth for you in the next chapter of your love story um, because you are detaching from and uprooting. And it says, flowers are bursting forth from the green grass. Everything is blooming. Plans coming to fruition. So that's where you're headed, um, getting through this last whoosh, uprootment. Okay, the next one is the end of the love story for May. And we're going to see how we end. And it is metamorphosis, which is definitely, you can feel that you are going through a change. The butterflies emerging from the cocoon. Um, and I'm going to read that one for you. And it is change, shift in mental or physical form. Which, yeah, definitely going through that process. And you're going to see a shift in your environment. You're going to see a shift perhaps in your thoughts. Um, and it says mental or physical. And I kind of feel both. Because um, I feel like the outer forms change because the inner landscape is changing. Your soul self, your higher self connecting more in that way. Um, 
you're becoming more um, disciplined is the word they're using in being able to connect and follow that guidance and um, really feeling the effects of that now regardless of regardless of the changes that are taking shape around you because you know it's from that inner um, the inner guide the inner landscape um, your thoughts everything within and within you spiritually is changing so the outer change has to happen because it's it's coming from within you and so you're going to find your outer landscape changing so there's going to be the change and you're going to be seeing the butterfly by the end of may in regards to that the change can be scary but it looks like you're going to be doing well you're going to be having a lot of peace and calm and centering and seeing a beautiful change coming forward and a lot of beautiful growth because remember look at these two they're kind of really connected there's a barren landscape here where you're taking yourself from and then as you move through it through this challenge you're going to see things grow more beautifully um, it's like a butterfly garden they're saying for some whatever whatever the reason it's like a butterfly garden where everything can kind of coexist you know the butter the flowers feed the butterflies and the you know the, the bees and the butterflies and all that pollinate the flowers so it's like a back and forth a give and take of the beautiful change um, and abundance and this has got to do with your relationship, too, so remember that. This is all about love. Um, but I feel there are actual things that are happening um, in your life outside of, like, even if you're not with your partner and this, you're dealing with all this, it's going to create this within your partnership moving forward um, because this is change within you. So you, ha you have to see this change in regards to what's being reflected back to you from other people and relationships. So I hope everyone has enjoyed the reading. If you have any questions, let me know. And happy... Um, May to everyone and I will be back with some other readings for May. I'm going to be doing my Goddess Yamayai for May and probably the Love Weather Forecast and maybe another mystery reading. I'm not sure, <laughs> but I'm thinking I'm probably going to. Yep. yep, I'm feeling yes. So I will see everyone soon. Remember my shop is closed. I will put a link to this beautiful deck of Kathy Nichols below um, for the deck enthusiasts and I will see you soon. Angel blessings, oceans of love.